Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem once again in Foundry VTT and we are continuing to build the Fandelva Adventure set. Uh, and we are currently looking at the Stonehill Inn. Now the last one of these videos we um, had this inn built and we started to do some of the journal stuff. And if you recall we stopped when we got to the shop bit and I put a prices bit in because I wanted to look at one of the add-ons which was a Monk's Enhanced Journal. So we are going and we looked at that in the test system. System, not in this one we're actually building stuff so as you can see here this is now an active model I've module I've just ticked that I can save um, I've already it's already reloaded for me and we've now got that active in here so just going to our journal entries we built the, this one previously uh, the layout slightly different because we've now got monks and we had this prices thing here that we we created but that's not actually what we want so I'm going to close that I'm going to create a new journal entry over here just drag it to the middle so it's easier for you to see uh, and this is going to be the stone hill inn and we want to create this as a shop okay and i want to put it into that trouble in fandelva or fandelin folder so we drop that in there which gives us this monks one that we've got here now what would be really nice is what's the chances i can open a second journal side by side <laughs> i can't that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to um, I'm going to take some of these pieces here. It's slightly awkward now because now I've got two of them, um, and I want to copy some of this stuff into here instead. Okay, uh, and I can just build this out with all of those details. Um, hopefully, if I just pop unsave changes, yes, I do want to save them. Uh, I can put a map in here as well, can't I? So let's do that on our shop here. Is it really easy for us to... What are these again? This is edit the description, um, add background sound effects if we want to, convert it, jump to pin, edit fields. Oh yes, this is the other things we might want on here. Uh, now I'm going to keep prices um, pretty much default here um, and just leave them as they are, see how that goes. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's just leave that as is. Right, so in here, can I now add an image in here? Look, here we go. Insert edit image. Now, what I want to do is, of course, to upload, and I had already got one. Um, was it, did I put it in maps? Uh, it would have been called the Stonehill Inn. Oh, now where did I put it? <laughs> oh, maps, Stonehill Inn. There we go. So we select that one save and that's going to pop it into here for us okay so uh, we might want to make that a little bit smaller can i just drag it small i can just drag it smaller like that how good's that there we go so we can just drag that smaller make that a bit more sensible uh yes we definitely want to save it what um what else did we have in here so we had the map we had that brief description we had our dm notes uh now this brings us an issue doesn't it because I don't want to accidentally reveal those DM notes to everybody. So is there a way using the shop one? Yes, I can have the description. I can have the details about when it's open, etc. I can update that right now. That's going to be open until 11 p.m. from 9. Um, uh, I'm happy for my players to request a purchase uh, and to make an offer for buying and selling stuff. I don't want them to just run away with everything they want. Uh, we're going to do items, the relationships, notes. See, I would like these notes are only viewable by you. Now, I assume when they say you, that means the DM. So the notes is where I'm going to take my DM bits here. I'm just going to copy the whole lot. Uh, control C, back into here, and in my notes, if it's not a lie, <laughs> there's no reason why it would be a lie, um, we should be able to just dump those in here and Bob's your auntie's living lover, as they say. Uh, we've got those in there for us, which is good. So we've got a description, um, we've got a map for the players to look at, uh, we've got some details of it, items we're going to build, uh, relationships, um, it says Dragon Marks in Monk's Enhanced Journal Entry here. Uh, I wonder if that means... Yeah, it's not kind of doing... Oh, dragging from here? No? 
Anyway, I don't think I need that, whatever that actually does. Might need to look at that and find out what that's useful for. If somebody's already using it, let us know. What, what's that, what do you do with that? What's that relationship things about? Is it connecting like buildings to buildings kind of stuff? Um, if we find that that might be useful, we will definitely have a proper play with it rather than just my messing about. But the main thing I want to do here is populate this shop with some stuff. Now this is an inn, so this is going to be mostly services rather than items. Let's go to the SRD, let's look in our uh, item list here. What kind of things are they going to purchase from an inn? Ammunition? No. Armour? No. Containers? Unlikely. Um, there's better places for them to buy things like barrels, um, flasks and stuff like that. Um, he's not going to want to sell his jugs and his tankards because therefore he's running his business. They're not generally on sale. Equipment wise, again, this is not really the place you come for equipment. It's going to be more about food. So yes, is he going to have water skins on hand? Let's say he's got three of those for sale and we are defaulting to the, um, the PHB prices here. Uh, trail rations, I'm happy for him to be able to supply uh, trail rations, so five days worth of trail rations. Um, just pop that open. It consists of dry food for extended travel, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm happy to do five days worth of food that he's got suitable on hand. And we're talking about dry long term rations there rather than anything else. He's not going to keep a massive supply of that here. There will be other places to also sell it. Right, so that's food done. He's not going to sell feed for animals. Uh, loot, no. Potions, no. Rods, no. Scrolls, no. Tools, trinkets. Right, good. But that's not very much, is it? <laughs> we want people to be able to buy ale and food and lodgings. So we're going to create some of our own items to do exactly that. So I'm going to go to my items tab here. Now we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we've created for just treasure and stuff, mostly messing around and things. Now we have got fine wine here, 10 gold pieces. This is not the kind of place where we're going to be spending that kind of money. So I'm going to create a folder and I'm just going to call this in goods. So it keeps it a bit separate from everything else. We don't get carried away. I want to create a new item. And as you can see, when this, let me close the journal just so it's a bit easier to see which one we're looking at. We can create a new item that is a background, a class, a consumable container, equipment, blah, 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 etc. Uh, and this will tell us whereabouts it will sit in their uh, in in their um, in their backpack. So if we create something that's consumable, okay, we've got a new item here. I can go in and I can choose. Uh, I don't want it in maps. Let's create a new folder here um, called items. Okay, and then inside items, I'm going to choose a file. And that's all my character portraits and things. But if I come out of that, I've got a new folder called items. Uh, and I just put some stuff in here. So consumables. Let's bring in this wooden tankard. Okay, and we're going to use that. So we've got an image now. Okay, whoops. Uh, and we're going to call this ale. Uh, not equipped, identified, yes. Uh, it's classifying it as a potion at the moment. It's going to be common. Uh, we don't need access to any of these things. That's fine. Now, I'm just going to look in the other page at the, uh, the PHB where we've got um, the standard prices. I've got those in my other window. Uh, and ale, a mug of ale is four copper pieces. So we can pop this in. And again, standard prices. And I want to use the standard prices in here because this item might be other places and I'll let the shop um, influence whether that shop is more expensive or cheaper rather than creating lots of ale. So if some of these items, I'm going to create ale once and use it for every place they can buy ale. Okay, so I'm not making it just for this inn, which is good, um, or otherwise that'd be a bit of a nightmare, wouldn't it? Um, not gonna worry about weight, quantity, yes, just one of them. Do I need a description for it? Not really. Um, the unidentified chat description, no. Details, it's consumable. Let's put it down as food rather than a potion. Attunement isn't required. Uh, activation cost, uh, none. Um, it's just for drinking. In fact, we could have just left that blank, couldn't we? 
um, action type. Yeah, none. Leave that all good. Effects, none. MIDI, QOL. Um, no, we don't need to do anything like that either. So we can literally just close that. Yeah, right, we're happy with that. We've now got AL. Let's just check that is in the correct folder. So how we're going to work this is if we go back to the journal and we go to the uh, Stonehill in the shop, I should be able to go to my items, drag this across, and it's asking me if I want to add ale. Now, I'm going to add 50 ale because the chances are they're going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be quite well stocked with ale. So there we go. It's now in there. Got the right cost that it's pulled over, the quantity. It's got our little image, maybe not the best image. I just grabbed some. Uh, so there's something there. And we've created a new item we can now sell in our shop. So we've got a few more of those to do. So let's crack on with those. We're going to create another consumable, create that item. We're going to go back in here in our items. We're going to choose uh, and we're going to choose wine. OK, select that one. Thank you very much. And this is going to be, uh, let's call it gob, uh, goblet. Globlet. <laughs> goblet. Goblet of wine. So we're going to be buying wine by the goblet. Uh, and again, this is a common item, uh, and the price for uh, for wine is uh, two silver. Um, two silver. For, it says for a pitcher, but we're going. We're going to do it this way. So two silver pieces. That might be expensive. I don't care. Uh, they don't have to drink it. Uh, don't want that one. Uh, I want details. Details is where we change it from a potion to being a food. No attunement required, etc. Okay, good. Uh, and it doesn't actually have any effect when they use it, um, but they will want to buy it. So we're going to have plenty of those in stock as well, because that's quite common. Next item. Okay, so this is pretty cool, isn't it? We can just do this, and we can just walk through uh, and uh, and create these different things that we want. We're going to get to a challenging one in a moment. Challenging. It might be challenging, I'm not sure. Uh, let's bring in this one here. So we've already got ale. Um, do we want? We've got wine. Uh, we're going to do food in a minute. Uh, let's put this. Let's bring this in as just beer, shall we? Okay. So we're going to call this beer because it guarantees somebody is going to want beer, and we can make that slightly more expensive. Let's call this five copper. Uh, oh, let's make it six copper. Okay, so it's a bit more, it's a bit more expensive than ale, um, but uh, significantly cheaper than wine. Still, that's a common item. Uh, details: We want to make this a food. All right, lovely, lovely. Uh, and then we can close that, and we can drop our drop our beer over here as well. They're going to have plenty of beer on tap, huh? Quite literally. Okay, good. We've got those. Right, now we're going to do something slightly different with the next items. We've got to see if we can get this to work. All right, so we're going to create another uh, is consumable the right thing to do here. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to select consumable because we can change it. Okay, um, and what this is going to be, if we select our image. Oh, I've got bread. Let's do bread first. Let's get the, let's get the foods out of the way. Okay, so I've got bread. Um, a loaf of bread, lovely jubbly, uh, and I suspect that they've got a specific price uh, for that bread loaf, two copper pieces again. So they're all really cheap, and you might, you know, I know a lot of DMs who don't worry. You know, they just go, oh, three silver, and it's your dinner. It's sorted. Uh, it can be a lot quicker. Um, I have no problem if you want to do that. Just save yourself time. Uh, it's up, entirely up to you. Um, but I'm doing this really because we've got the ability to do the details. Let's add them in. So we've got, ten, we've got the ability to produce 10 loaves, even if somebody has to run to the local bakers, which is interesting. There's no mention of a baker's in this town. We might have to create one because <laughs> it's a little bizarre, isn't it? OK, we had cheese as well. Let's uh, not create a folder. Thank you. We want to create a new item. Just going to do the same here. Consumable whizzing through these kind of as quickly as I can, because once you've seen one of them. Uh, oh, yeah. Cheese. I need to do. We're going to do cheese. And once I've done one, it's not. It's not a big deal, is it? 
Um, uh, they've got cheese, hunk of cheese, one silver piece. Okay. So remember, they can buy trail rations. This stuff isn't specifically dried for that. Um, but there's no reason they don't buy a hunk of cheese to take with them. They can do that if like, no problem. But also remember that we want our players to um, be able to come and do their own shopping if they want to and pay for their own goods. Talking of which, one more food item to do. So another consumable, create that picture. Choose our mutton stew. Mutton stew is a bit of a staple. Now, obviously, we could just call it meat stew. Um, But this is going to be uh, this is going to be pretty much the commonest kind of um, meal that's just going to be available is that kind of um, that kind of thing. Um, so this has got meals per day, squalid, poor, modest. I would put this down as a you know as meals per day. They've got chunk meat chunk three silver pieces. So I'd be happy to say that is that three yeah three silver pieces. While it's not just a chunk of meat, it's actually a full meal. It's got veggies and everything else in it. Um, not, not copper, silver. Um, that would be a decent, proper meal for anybody. For hard-working labourers out there, the miners and things like that. Okay, we can chuck that in there. It's a common food source. Easy peasy. Um, now, we edit item. Identified, not equipped. Is there a way that... That's common, thank you. Is there a way that we can take these and say when they buy it, it disappears? Yeah, well, rather, it doesn't transfer it to that character sheet. I think there is, and we might need to get to that. So because we've got these different installs, we've got item macro installed. We've got the item sheets. We've got AA, which is our automatic recognition menu for our animations, automatic, automated animations. Um, we've got our... Uh, oh yeah, that's just the that's just the um, the macro page, and we've got DAE on there as well. Um, but that's not to do with the shop specifically. We can add on macros right here. I don't think we need to use macros. I think there is something we can do. Is it to do with this consume? I think it's to do with this consume, and we click that to say it's a consumable rather than something that goes in their backpack um, so when they purchase it uh, they pay the price but it gets consumed rather than it going in a backpack i think that's how it works we're going to test it of course we are because we're going to test all of it to make sure it makes sense okay if that's the case it makes these next couple of items a bit easier to do so I know consumable might be a bit of a weird word because we're going to be selecting things like the common room sleeping area. All right, so a so bed for the night in the common room, so it's a shared space, and we might just say that's two silver, um, two silver for the night. Now I'm just seeing if we've got things in the uh, the PHB. Does it give us some prices on this stuff? It gives us about services such as hiring a cab, traveling and stuff like that. It's got about a food, drink and lodging, right? Banquet per person, in stay per day. For squalid, for poor, it reckons one silver piece. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, one silver piece. It's poor conditions in the common room. You've got a roof over your head. At least you've got your own pallet to sleep on with some very kind of poor quality sheets and things but it's better than being outside okay so we can create that uh this is common details uh so it's not ammunition it's not food but i'm not sure what else kind of let's just call it food from the point of view it's consumable it doesn't affect the way the game works i don't think um and we don't need uh, any of those things okay no effects da, 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 da. right so we can do that Let's drag bed over. Where did I put it? Common room bed. Uh, oof. So how many rooms are available here? Um, we've got five rooms or five spaces available in the common room. So from the DM's point of view, we might have to just come in and alter those numbers. Um, you know, there's only five rooms available. Once they've all been sold, reset that. Um, 
what happens if I think if we lock it, it means they can't buy it. Um, that means they can't see it. That's edit and that's delete it. Okay, so we've got the common room. Now let's add on our next one, which you probably guessed it is going to be for private rooms in here. Uh, and I'm going to create cheap bed private room. Okay. Cheap private room. Because this is not the most salubrious of places. So this is going to be a modest in stay. That's going to be at five silver pieces. You've got private room all to yourself to do whatever it is that you do in your private room at night. Um, elves, you know, while you're waiting for the rest of the party to actually have their eight hours sleep and you're only having four. What are you doing? Probably best not to ponder that. <laughs> so what is wrong with me? Okay, cheap, uh, cheap private room. We've, uh, cheap private room. That's what we need. God, dear Lord, there's something wrong with me. Um, so how many cheap private rooms are there? Now, I think it said that there were five rooms and Sildar's already got one. So again, we can have that as consumed. Um, so that's used up as we do it. So there we go. We now have a room that people can actually go, uh, sorry, an inn where people can actually go and buy food and things and it will take the money off. Let's uh, close that and make sure that's saved. I don't know why I've got water skin open. Go away. Um, brilliant. Probably need to test that shot works the way we want, right? So uh, go back to our actors. It's always Haley for whatever. I don't know why it's Haley. I'm quite fond of Haley. Uh, oh, we can see how all our walls are working, etc. Let's go up to Toblin and say, oh, Haley would like to purchase. Let's open Haley up. Uh, open up a character sheet uh, and just put her item equipment up here. And let's see if this works the way we want it to. So. Haley's character, oh, hang on a minute, configure ownership. We want players to be able to observe this, don't we? Yeah. So let's do that now. I also want to delete this older version of the Stonehill Inn. Okay. So now we've got this. Um, let's say Haley has got, she's got three silver pieces at the moment. What happens if she buys some cheese? Do I want to buy cheese for one silver piece? Yes. Her um, silver's gone down. Where's the cheese? Is it in there? Is it in there? Is it in there? It shouldn't be in any of those. We've got we've got no cheese, so it's not transferred that cheese to her. Why not? I was expecting it would do that. If we do it with rations, uh, these are five silver. Yes, please. So it's taking the money. Oh, ooh! Why is it not giving stuff? Just check it's not in any of these. Nope. Oh. So something's not quite working. This is why we check and test stuff. Right. So is it a setting in here somewhere? Was that that's edit fields? Um, certainly nothing in there we need to worry about. I'm going to get rid of that relationships tab for the moment because we're not using it. Um, details. Haley Long. Oh, stupid boy, me. That is not you. If you're watching this, uh, the reason why is because it's, it's Haley wants to purchase these things, um, but it hasn't been approved. Um, no, that's not true. It's saying she has purchased these. We've got no message in the game master screen to say we need to approve it. It's saying she's purchased them and how much. But it hasn't given them to her. So something's not quite right. Uh, is it because we've got purchase request? But I'm let's change that to anyone. Anyone. Thank you. Uh, and now let's see if that works differently. A water skin, Haley. Hmm. Details. Haley bought a water skin for two silver pieces. Tells us when it was purchased. It's interesting it gives us the the real world date there which is obviously fine um mm. Mm -mm -mm. it can't i mean that's just the water skin now <laughs> why is this not working what have i done wrong somebody's going to be screaming at the screen going oh, it's because you didn't do such and such um because you lot are far smarter than i am uh that's again that's just that 
maybe we need to go into the mm, not manage modules configure uh, and we need to go to monks enhanced journal and let's see what things we've got in here so edit currency so that's just the ratios of money to money we don't need to mess with that uh, customize pages um, we don't need to play with that we've got shop here that's just got the tabs and things and the default pricing so we don't need to mess with that that's fine uh, editor engine um, background color image sidebar image those things we don't really know allow players to use the enhanced journal uh, well maybe um, open a new tab Dice rolling model module using Tunks Moken Monk's token bar, not Tunks Moken bar. Quest objectives, display quests, always show objectives, player permissions, sidebar, and enhanced journal. Uh, NPC chat tool button. Show the button for toggling NPC chat buttons buttons. Nope. Uh, start collapsed. No, HUD permissions, show folder sorting. Hmm, I'm not seeing anything in here that's going to affect that. Um, purchase conversation. When purchasing items, allow converting between currencies. Um, sorry, conversion, not con conversation. Stupid boy. Uh, use original price after purchasing. Set the price of purchase items back to the original non-adjusted price. The loot sheet, loot entity loot name that's all for loot stuff so I'm not seeing anything in here that is going to be affecting that which says there's something else I've done wrong unless there is an issue with monks enhanced journal and the shop working when integrating with the new character sheet still so the other way we do that is obviously go back to this sheet or not as it turns out <laughs> Go back to the legacy sheet, thank you. And we do it. Where you gone, Haley? Come back, it's all forgiven. And is it yeah, so it's still that problem. Um what have we got in here? We so we haven't got any of these things in here. We haven't got anything in our consumables. Let's try purchasing again using the old sheet. So this might be purely all of the problem is. Add our cheese. Buy one. Yeah. It's purely the new sheet. Um, that's what it doesn't like. So that was cheese. Now if we order a private room, we've got this consume thing on here. So what, let's just check our prices. So let's, Haley, you've got exactly five silver now, all right, because I've cheated and given you a silver piece. If we purchase a room for silver, for one silver piece, now this kind of tells us what it is. If I copy this over here, go yes please, it has taken her five silver. It has not added it over here, which we wouldn't want to do for beds. So if I take that consume thing off and we try that again. So uh, let's give you back five silver just so we can make sure it's doing the pricing right as well. We're gonna buy a cheap room for five silver. It's taken the money and it's added it on. Okay, we're getting somewhere, aren't we? That's pretty cool. All right. So let's summarize that then. We can create a shop. We can create items to go in the shop and designate their prices. We can populate the shop with them. Any of these items that we click to say it's a consumable will not get, will take the money but it will not transfer it to the character sheet, which is great. And that's exactly what we want with things like uh, sleeping overnight, those services rather than the goods. Now, ale, um, the beer, cheese and things like that, those I'm putting down as to be consumed as part of the... I've just realised I didn't add stew, did I? <laughs> Where's my stew? Um, there it is. Stick my mutton stew in. Thank you very much. Got plenty of mutton stew about. Um, yeah, we can pop those in and they can get consumed. If they buy rations and water skins, they should actually go into their backpacks for them to use later because that's a you know something they want. 
However, the problem that we have is not compatible with the new character sheets. And we did find that out when we were playing with it, and I kind of had a bit of a blonde moment. Um, shouldn't use that phrase really, but there we go. Um, and, uh, and forgot that that was the case. Okay, so things are working the way we want to from the shop point of view, not necessarily from the character sheet point of view, which is, that's a shame, isn't it? Uh, I suspect that will get fixed. Okay, so talking of that, you may have noticed when I go to the module thing, I've got this little uh, top top right here. There is this um, uh, exclamation mark. And if you can see here, it's next to the engine number 3.030. So this is telling us that there is now an update that will take it to 3.0.4. A question is, is do we want to do that? Because we know that it will fix some things, but possibly break some other things. And the 3.0 game engine changed so many things that all the people doing the modules, the add-ons, um, are desperately trying to do that. So I'm going to have a quick look at that, and I'm going to uh, report back on whether this looks like it might solve this problem or not, and whether we're going to update or not. I will be back in just a few moments. Okay, that, that was quick for you, wasn't it? Um, so, yeah, done a little bit of research there, and it is a reported issue with Monk's Enhanced Journal. It's a known about issue, other people are having the same thing. Um, and it is looks like it's a problem that Monk's Enhanced Journal needs to look at and rectify. I'm not sure if that's true, because it's working on the legacy sheet. But obviously, um, we need to see what happens with regard to the settling down of the 3.0 engine. Um, you can't see that that's going to be fixed by updating to the 3.0.4 game engine. Um, it doesn't look like that's going to have any effect on it. So in the meantime, it's kind of a wait for that to get rectified. And again, it's just part of changing the game engine so significantly. Um, and it, the way it's impacting on a lot of these modules and add-ons. So um, we've got two choices. Ditch using Monk's Enhanced Journal for shops completely. Or we make sure our characters are using the legacy sheets for their characters at least when shopping um, and that's kind of that's a choice um, it's up to you what you want to do with that uh, I've, I'm going to leave it running uh, I think I'm going to you know I like the look of the new sheet um, I'm going to leave it on there though um, uh, as the old sheet so that this does work one other thing I want to look at um, and have a quick look at actually I might need to do another video on this I think I have somewhere in here, uh, maybe I don't, yes I do, look, tidy 5e sheet, okay, uh, I'm going to add tidy, if it lets me, oh, I've crashed, oh, hang on, what's going on there, it won't let me, this module requires maximum system version, ah, right, look, so tidy 5e sheet, I didn't read it, it did pop up, we can't use that. I was going to try that. It's just an alternative way of having the character sheet laid out. Um, and I was going to try that and see if that worked instead. Because it's certainly much nicer than this default one that we've currently got for Haley here. Um, but no, can't do it. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if uh, if we can if that needs updating. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can update our tidy uh, tidy 5e sheet? I suspect the answer is no. So let's close all this and try that. But remember, that's why we're here. This is all about testing what works. So we go to our add-ons um, and let's find tidy 5e sheet uh, and see if that will update for us. It's on version 10 point, uh, sorry, 0 0.10.1. Um, that's it. That's the version. Um, so the answer is no to that. So yeah, we're stuck with use the old character sheet or don't use Monk's um, Enhanced Journal for the shops. That's your choice um, for now. Hopefully that will get fixed relatively quickly and I'll certainly keep you updated. And as we build shops and things, obviously at some point it will suddenly start working, fingers crossed, um, following an update. Um, right, that's it for this one. We didn't get very far, but at least we've uh, we've shown creating some items, although very briefly, throwing a shop together, and in theory how it works, even if it's not beautiful just yet. Thanks for hanging around. 
see you in the next one